Welcome to our ultimate guide on UK road signs. Here are the five types of road signs. Number 1. Signs giving orders. Number 2. Warning signs. Number 3. Direction signs. Number 4. Information signs. And number 5. Road works signs. Let's start with number 1. Signs giving orders. Here is signs with red circles are mostly prohibitive. And signs with blue circles but no red border mostly give positive instructions. Have a look at this red circle with the bicycle sign. It's called no cycling. And look at this blue circle with the bicycle sign. It's called route to be used by pedal cycles only. This sign is informing drivers that the maximum speed limit for the road they are on is 30 miles per hour, approximately 48 kilometers per hour. This is a standard no entry sign. It is used to inform drivers that they are not allowed to enter the road or path indicated by the sign. The image is a road sign that informs drivers they are entering a 20 miles per hour zone where the maximum speed limit is 20 miles per hour. This sign signifies the end of a 20 miles per hour zone. When drivers pass this sign, they are no longer bound by the 20 miles per hour speed limit and can resume driving at the standard speed limit applicable to the road. The image is a road sign that indicates the national speed limit. It serves as a reminder to drivers to adhere to the standard speed limit for the type of road they are on, which is typically higher on rural roads and motorways and lower in built-up areas. The image is a road sign indicating a school crossing patrol. This sign is used to alert drivers that there is a school crossing guard present in the area, and they should exercise caution and be prepared to stop if the crossing guard is assisting children in crossing the road. The image is a road sign that instructs drivers to stop and give way. This sign indicates that drivers must come to a complete stop and yield the right of way to non-coming traffic or other road users before proceeding. The image is a road sign that instructs drivers to give way. This sign means that drivers should yield the right of way to other vehicles or road users, typically at intersections or junctions. The image is a road sign indicating manually operated stop sign. This sign is used to alert drivers that there may be a person, such as a traffic controller or a construction worker, who is manually controlling traffic at this location. The image is a road sign indicating manually operated go sign. This sign is used to alert drivers that there may be a person, such as a traffic controller or a construction worker, who is manually directing traffic at this location. The image is a road sign indicating no vehicles allowed. This sign means that motorized vehicles are prohibited from entering the specified area or road. It's used to restrict access to certain types of vehicles, often in pedestrian zones, parks, or other areas where vehicle traffic is not permitted. The image is a road sign indicating no cycling allowed. This sign means that cycling is prohibited in the specified area or on the designated road. It's used to restrict bicycle access, often in places where cycling could be hazardous. The image is a road sign indicating no motor vehicles allowed. This sign means that all motorized vehicles, including cars, motorcycles, and trucks, are prohibited from entering the specified area or road. The image is a road sign indicating no buses allowed. This sign means that buses are prohibited from entering the specified area or using the designated road. It's used to restrict bus access in certain locations. The image is a road sign indicating no overtaking. This sign instructs drivers that they are not allowed to pass or overtake other vehicles on the road. It's used to enhance safety in areas with limited visibility, curves, intersections, or other situations where overtaking could be dangerous. The image is a road sign indicating no towed caravans allowed. This sign means that vehicles towing caravans or trailers are not permitted to enter the specified area or use the designated road. The image is a road sign indicating no vehicles carrying explosives allowed. This sign means that vehicles transporting explosive materials or substances are prohibited from entering the specified area or road. The image is a road sign indicating no vehicle or combination of vehicles over length shown. 
This sign means that combinations of vehicles that exceed a specified length limit are not permitted to enter the specified area or use the designated road. The image is a road sign indicating no vehicles over height limit allowed. This sign means that vehicles exceeding a specified height limit are not allowed to enter the specified area or use the designated road. The image is a road sign indicating no vehicles exceeding width limit allowed. This sign means that vehicles wider than a specified width limit are not allowed to enter the specified area or use the designated road. The image is a road sign indicating give priority to non-coming vehicles. This sign means that when drivers encounter oncoming vehicles on a narrow road or at certain sections of the road, the image is a road sign indicating no right turn. This sign means that drivers are not allowed to make a right turn at the specific location or intersection where the sign is placed. The image is a road sign indicating no left turn. This sign means that drivers are not allowed to make a left turn at the specific location or intersection where the sign is placed. The image is a road sign indicating no U-turn. This sign means that drivers are not allowed to make a U-turn, which is a 180 degree turn to reverse direction, at the specific location where the sign is placed. The image is a road sign indicating no goods vehicles over weight limit. This sign means that goods vehicles exceeding a specified weight limit are not allowed to enter the specified area or use the designated road. The image is a road sign indicating no vehicles over maximum gross weight limit. This sign means that vehicles exceeding a specified maximum gross weight limit are not allowed to enter the specified area or use the designated road. The image is a road sign indicating parking restricted to permit holders. This sign means that only vehicles displaying a valid parking permit are allowed to park in the specified area. The image is a road sign indicating a red route. In many cities, a red route is a designated road or street where certain restrictions or rules apply, typically to improve traffic flow and reduce congestion. The image is a road sign indicating no stopping at specified times. This sign means that, during the times indicated on the sign, drivers are not allowed to stop their vehicles in the specified area. The image is a road sign indicating no waiting. This sign means that drivers are not allowed to stop their vehicles and wait in the specified area. It is often used to manage traffic flow and prevent congestion. The image is a road sign indicating no stopping. This sign means that drivers are not allowed to stop their vehicles in the specified area at any time. If you want to learn road signs in the proper way, you can download our theory test app on the App Store, link in the description. Let's get back to the video. The image is a road sign indicating a head only. This sign means that, as you proceed, the road or lane you are in will only continue in the direction indicated by the sign. The image is a road sign indicating turn left ahead. This sign means that, as you proceed, there is an upcoming intersection or junction where you are required to make a left turn. The image is a road sign indicating turn left. This sign instructs drivers to make a left turn at the intersection or junction where it is displayed. The image is a road sign indicating keep left. This sign instructs drivers to stay on the left side of the road or within their lane and maintain a leftward direction. It is used to remind drivers to drive on the left side of the road. The image is a road sign indicating vehicle may pass either side. This sign means that drivers are allowed to pass an obstacle, obstruction, or traffic island on either side of the road. The image is a road sign indicating a mini roundabout. This sign is used to alert drivers to the presence of a small roundabout or traffic circle at the upcoming intersection. The image is a road sign indicating a route for pedal cycles only. This sign designates a specific road or path exclusively for the use of bicycles. Motorized vehicles aren't permitted on this route and it is intended for the exclusive use of cyclists. The image is a road sign indicating a segregated cycle and pedestrian route. This sign designates a specific pathway or route that is separated from the regular road and intended for use by both cyclists and pedestrians. The image is a road sign indicating minimum speed. This sign specifies the minimum speed at which drivers should travel on a particular road or section of the road. The image is a road sign indicating the end of minimum speed. 
This sign marks the point where the minimum speed limit requirement, if previously in effect, no longer applies. The image is a road sign indicating that a specific road or lane is restricted for use by buses and bicycles only. Motorized vehicles are not allowed on this route, it is reserved for buses and cyclists. The image is a road sign indicating that a specific road or track is reserved for trams only. Other vehicles, such as cars and bicycles, are not permitted on this route, and it is exclusively designated for trams. The image is a road sign indicating a pedestrian crossing over a tramway. This sign is used to inform drivers that there is a pedestrian crossing that crosses over tram tracks. The image is a road sign indicating one-way traffic. This sign is used to inform drivers that the road ahead is for one-way traffic only. Vehicles are allowed to travel in only one direction on this road. The image is a road sign indicating a road with a dedicated bus and cycle lane in the same direction of traffic flow. This sign is used to inform drivers that there is a special lane for buses and cyclists traveling in the same direction. The image is a road sign indicating a contraflow bus lane. This sign is used to inform drivers that there is a special lane for buses traveling in the opposite direction of the regular traffic flow on the same road. The image is a road sign indicating a road with a dedicated pedal cycle lane in the same direction as the regular traffic flow. This sign is used to inform drivers that there is a special lane for cyclists traveling in the same direction. Now, let's talk about warning signs. The image is a warning sign indicating the distance to stop line ahead, 100 yards. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a stop line or intersection where they should be prepared to come to a stop. This warning sign indicating that a dual carriageway ends. This sign is used to alert drivers that the road they are on, which may have previously been a divided dual carriageway with separate lanes for traffic traveling in opposite directions. The image is a warning sign indicating that the road narrows on right. This sign is used to alert drivers that the road they are on will become narrower in the upcoming section. The image is a warning sign indicating that the road narrows on both sides. This sign is used to alert drivers that the road they are on will become narrow and not only on one side but on both sides in the upcoming section. The image is a warning sign indicating the distance to give way line ahead, 50 yards. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a stop line or intersection where they should be prepared to come to a stop. The image is a warning sign indicating a crossroads. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching an intersection where two or more roads cross each other at approximately right angles, creating a four-way junction. This warning sign indicating a junction on bend ahead. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a junction or intersection, where two or more roads meet, and that this junction is located on a curved or bendy section of the road. The image is a warning sign indicating a T-junction with priority. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a T-shaped junction where their road will intersect with another road, forming a T-shaped intersection. The image is a warning sign indicating a staggered junction. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a junction where two intersecting roads do not meet at a single, straight across intersection. The image is a warning sign indicating traffic merging left. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a section of the road where traffic from the right will be merging into their lane from a separate roadway or on-ramp. The image is a warning sign indicating a double bend. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a section of the road with two consecutive bends or curves. These bends may be in the same direction or in opposite directions. The image is a warning sign indicating a bend to right. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a curve or bend in the road that will turn to the right. The image is a warning sign indicating a roundabout. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a roundabout, a circular intersection where traffic flows in a counterclockwise direction around a central island. The image is a warning sign indicating an uneven road. This sign is used to alert drivers that the road they are traveling on has an irregular or uneven surface, which may include bumps, potholes, or other road surface irregularities. The image is a warning sign indicating a plate below some signs. 
This sign is used to inform drivers that additional information or instructions may be provided on a separate sign located below or adjacent to certain traffic signs. The image is a warning sign indicating that two-way traffic crosses the road. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching an intersection or junction where traffic from the opposite direction crosses their road. The image is a warning sign indicating two-way traffic ahead. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a section of the road where they will encounter oncoming traffic traveling in the opposite direction. The image is a warning sign indicating a swing bridge. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a type of movable bridge known as a swing bridge. The image is a warning sign indicating the presence of aircraft. This sign is typically used at locations near airports or airfields to warn drivers that aircraft may be crossing or using the road ahead, especially during takeoffs and landings. This warning sign indicating falling rocks. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are entering an area where there is a risk of rocks or debris falling onto the road from the surrounding terrain, such as hills, cliffs, or steep slopes. The image is a warning sign indicating that traffic signals are not in use. This sign is used to alert drivers that the traffic signals at an intersection or junction ahead are not functioning or are temporarily out of order. The image is a warning sign indicating the presence of traffic signals. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching an intersection or junction with traffic signals, traffic lights, ahead. The image is a warning sign indicating a slippery road. This sign is used to alert drivers that the road ahead may be slippery or have reduced traction due to various factors, such as wet or icy conditions, oil spills, or other hazards. The image is a warning sign indicating a steep hill downwards. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a road section with a significant downhill slope. The image is a warning sign indicating a steep hill upwards gradients may be shown as a ratio 20%. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a road section with a significant uphill slope. The image is a warning sign indicating a tunnel ahead. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a tunnel on the road. The image is a warning sign indicating trams crossing ahead. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a section of the road where tram tracks cross the roadway. The image is a warning sign indicating a level crossing ahead with barrier or gate. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a railroad level crossing where barriers or gates are in place to control the flow of traffic. The image is a warning sign indicating a level crossing ahead without barrier. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a railroad level crossing where there are no barriers or gates to stop or control the flow of traffic. The image is a warning sign indicating a level crossing without barrier ahead. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a railroad level crossing where there are no barriers or gates to stop or control the flow of traffic. The image is a warning sign indicating a school crossing patrol ahead. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a location where a school crossing patrol. This warning sign indicating frail pedestrians cross road ahead. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a location where pedestrians, such as elderly individuals or people with limited mobility, may be crossing the road. The image is a warning sign indicating pedestrians in road ahead. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching an area where pedestrians may be in or near the road. The image is a warning sign indicating a zebra crossing. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a pedestrian crossing, specifically a zebra crossing. The image is a warning sign indicating overhead electric cables. This sign is used to alert drivers that there are high voltage electrical cables or wires suspended above the road. The image is a warning sign indicating available width and headroom. This sign is used to inform drivers of the available width and headroom for vehicles passing through a particular location, such as an underpass, tunnel, or narrow road. This warning sign indicating a sharp deviation of route to left. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a location where the road they are on will make a sudden and sharp change in direction, such as a tight bend or curve. The image is a warning sign indicating light signals ahead. 
This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching an area where traffic is regulated by light signals, such as traffic lights or signals at intersections. The image is a warning sign indicating a miniature warning lights at level crossings. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a level crossing where a miniature railway line crosses the road. The image is a warning sign indicating cattle. This sign is used to alert drivers that they may encounter cattle or other livestock on the road or in the vicinity. The image is a warning sign indicating wild animals. This sign is used to alert drivers that they may encounter wild animals, such as deer or other wildlife, on or near the road. The image is a warning sign indicating wild horses. This sign is used to alert drivers that they may encounter wild horses on or near the road. The image is a warning sign indicating accompanied horses. This sign is used to alert drivers that they may encounter horses being ridden or led by individuals on or near the road. The image is a warning sign indicating cycle route ahead. This sign is used to inform drivers that they are approaching an area where there is a designated route for cyclists. The image is a warning sign indicating a risk of ice. This sign is used to alert drivers to the potential danger of icy road conditions in the area. This warning sign indicating traffic cues. This sign is used to alert drivers that they may encounter congestion or traffic jams ahead, where vehicles are lined up due to various reasons, such as heavy traffic, road construction, or accidents. The image is a warning sign indicating distance humps extend. This sign is used to inform drivers that they are approaching a stretch of road with speed humps or speed bumps that extend for some distance. The image is a warning sign indicating other danger. This sign is used to alert drivers to potential hazards or dangers on the road that do not fall into specific categories covered by standard warning signs. The image is a warning sign indicating soft verges. This sign is used to inform drivers that they are approaching an area where the road's shoulders or verges are of a softer or less stable nature compared to the main road surface. The image is a warning sign indicating side winds. This sign is used to alert drivers that they may encounter strong lateral or crosswinds on the road. The image is a warning sign indicating a hump bridge. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a bridge with an elevated hump or rise in the road surface. This warning sign indicating worded warning sign. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a location where the road crosses a shallow water crossing, also known as a ford. The image is a warning sign indicating quayside or riverbank. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching a quayside, riverbank, or waterfront area where the road may run alongside a body of water, such as a river, lake, or canal. The image is a warning sign indicating risk of grounding. This sign is used to alert drivers that they are approaching an area where there is a risk of vehicles grounding or bottoming out due to changes in road elevation or road conditions. We will talk about direction signs, information signs, and road works signs in the next video, and we will even mention the next video link in the description and end screen. If you want to learn road signs in the proper way, you can download our theory test app on the App Store, link in the description. Thanks for watching the video.